Ladies and gentlemen, this is a catchweight contest over eight three-minute rounds. It is a match to be decided by two falls, two submissions, or the one knockout. In the red corner to my left, from Scunthorpe, welcome Ray Robinson. His opponent to my right and in the blue corner, from Keith Lee, King Ben. And your referee this afternoon, Mr. Peter Jay. Thank you. So, Peter Jay. We've seen him a couple of times before on the small screen. He's got to handle this catch match here at the Civic Hall Bedworth. Ray Robinson versus King Ben. So, King Thank Ben on the left. There he is in the yellow gear from Silsden near Skipston, but generally billed from Keighley. Round one. Here we go for eight three-minute rounds. Two falls, two submissions, or a knockout to decide the winner. The referee, Peter J. Ray Robinson of Scunthorpe at 14-7 versus King Ben Boothman of Keithley at a mere 13 stone two. So therefore, a catch match. Giving away a stone and five pounds here. Side headlock, Ray Robinson, the heavier of the two, starting in the first move to try and get in on the attack. Ben. It's nice to see King Ben in the ring again. We've seen so much of his uh, son, Kid McCoy, recently, although, of course, that's really worth seeing too. Both of them excellent wrestlers. Ray Robinson's going to have a bit of a problem here, even though he has a weight advantage. No worry about identification here. The bright yellow King Ben. Yellow with black stripes on the side. Very sharp gear. Very fine, Ben couldn't hold it. Double-handed wrist lever took him off it just as he got there. This time Robinson wins it. But can he hold him there? Back to canvas for the first time, Ben. There he is trying to counter it, but he's still in that double-handed wrist lever. A minute to go in round one, and Ben has certainly got his fans here. He's trying that great fight again, but still doesn't work. And the same hold by Robinson still applied. trying to counter this move but I think he's he's got a problem getting your way over a stone and five pounds here he's got 12 seconds to go Robinson trying to force him over backwards for a further shoulder press he's not going to make it in time the bell will help Ben follow King Ben Boothman which is his full name over to his blue corner King Ben known 13 stone 2 this is the man who's been a part time pro since 1970s late 70s and what a wonderful wrestler he's become set away round 3 round 3 6 rounds to go no score 8 threes 2 falls to decide this part King Ben giving away a stone five pounds to Ray Robinson. Robinson of Scunthorpe, Ben of Keatley, and no, no. it's King Ben in the bear hut there in the yellow gear. No, no.
wonder how much those uh, wristbands help the, the bear hug here, help to prevent the slip. It's an impossible situation for any wrestler to be this close, unless he can get his arms inside the bear hug. He's got nothing to attack with. Persisting with this bear hug, Ray Robinson. Finally oh. releases, but back in. Back into the same hold. Now, can Ben get out of it this time? By getting down almost knee on canvas there to try and force Ray Robinson to release it. He's got one hand away. Still he can't get there. But he's, he's counted all right. He's counted onto a, a further side head chancery, side headlock, really way of head, and too far, he couldn't hold. Less than a minute now, round three. <laughs> Robinson quicker even than Ben then. Ben is known to one of the quickest men at his weight. He's, of course, heavy middleweight. Full Nelson there to Ben, but it may not pay him to have got that hold on. 20 seconds to go. Let's see if Ray Robinson can break it. He's got eight seconds to do it. He's done it on seven. <laughs> So no point in restarting a move this round. King Ban, incidentally, not only an excellent wrestler and a very speedy heavy middleweight, one of the fastest in the, in the bracket, his bracket, weight bracket, but he also came second in the Indoor League Arm Wrestling Championships in the 70s. So he's a, quite an arm wrestler, along with people like Clive Myers. Set away, round four. Round four, five to go and still no score here in this catch match at the Civic Hall Bills. Two falls, two submissions are enough out to decide the winner and still no score. Ooh. King Ben and his yellow gear on the left. Trying to get back into this, but Ray Robinson's used a lot of strength holes against him, which have stopped him short of his special moves. Ben, one of the best drop kickers in the business. We haven't seen him try it yet. Good body check off the ropes by Robinson. Pressure points. Ben going over the top for the pressure points. The last time he did that, he caught caught in a, a, a bear hug and he's done it again. And there's that Robinson bear hug once more. And the lift from it. Hoping for a submission from this, Robinson. Two minutes he's got in the fourth. No, Rep, no. A beautiful cross cross makes it go folder, and in just one minute, 43 seconds of round four, the first fall, and a good one it was. And here we go for the slow motion replay of that. Then does his flying tackle, 
and Reddick catches Robinson completely off balance, holds that left leg of Robinson's, no chance of getting out of that at all. So, Ben leading one fall to nil with four rounds to go, halfway through the contest. Second away, round five. Now, Robinson won't like that at all. He'd had most of the advantage in the first three or four rounds. And now he's trailing by one four. So he's coming in with the strength stuff, the forearm uppercuts. And that fourth, fifth one got him pretty well. And the flying butt again. And again, at what point did... did and catch it. Lovely backdrop, and Robinson follows up with a cross press, holds that leg again, same move, and it's an equalizer. And it only took him 36 seconds of round five, Ray Robinson, to get the equalizing fall, one each. And let's have a look at that again. See, Ben comes off the ropes, tries his flying tackle, Robinson sees it coming, forces it behind him in the, in the big backdrop, follows up very quickly with a cross press, grabs the leg, and prevents him from getting out of that at all. Ladies and gentlemen, that was round five, the second fall of the contest. Obviously, the equaliser, Ray Robinson. Yes, well done, Ray Robinson. It was a very neat one indeed. Completely full, Ben, thinking he had that flying tackle all his own way, but it did Three rounds to go, and it's now one fall each. Next way, round six. Now then, the next one is the one that really counts here. Three rounds to decide this. And Peter Jay, the referee from Portsmouth there, hardly anything to do. No pinfall counts at all, except the ones that were pinfalls. Just twice, he's had to count. And it's Robinson trying a full Boston Crab now on Ben. The question is, can he get him right over not too near the ropes, if possible, because he, Ben will just grab the rope. Robinson believing he might have a possible submission before he gets the Boston on. I don't think that's likely. It's really putting him through it, though. Nearly there. There it's on. It's full on. And he's got two minutes in round six to make it pay. Robinson, a submission possible here. If anybody thinks this move doesn't hurt, don't try it. Believe me, don't try it. I tried it with a 10-year-old boy doing that, and believe me, I felt it for days. One of the most painful holes there is, backbreaker of class, that full Boston crowd. But Ray Robinson released. And he's trying something else now that will lead to the same thing, maybe another Boston. Same backbreaker move. <laughs> this time, Ben will not want to go into that position again, but he's there. He's still got the arm underneath him, which might help a bit. Well, Ben's got a minute to endure this, or get out of it before that time. That's the man putting the pressure on, and again he releases because he can't get the submission he wants. So try something else. And more backbreakers on Ben as he posts him. This man Robinson has really improved since the last time we saw him. And. Oh, double up, that's, oh, very nearly a suplex. He didn't he tried for the suplex, but decided to stop it halfway in a backbreaker for more weakness on Ben's back. And, oh, he has caught him beautifully. About 15 seconds to go in this round six. One fall each, remember, the bear hug. More back weakness by Robinson, but he's got five seconds only to do. And he's made it. Okay, well, we leave King Ben in the 
slowly getting back to his corner after many backbreakers, including a posting, and have a look at Ray Robinson of Scunthorpe. Well, this man who's a non-smoker, non-drinker, and trained by Cyril Knowles, and he's been a part-time pro since 79, wants to be a full pro. The way he's going, he will. Second away, round seven. And two rounds to go. And remember, one fall is now deciding this bout because the score is one fall each. <laughs> His forearm uppercuts are really coming in thick and fast now, and Ben is in. Can he hold out? He's got two rounds to take this. Headbutt to the back of the year there. And waiting for him, goes over the cross press. Grabs the leg, but not enough. And the right shoulder leg comes off. Gets a count of one. No, can't even get a count of two here. So Robinson will have to release that one and try something else again. He's got two minutes, so he might try it once more, and he wishes he hadn't because Ben's back there in charge. But, oh, no, no, no that he released. He can't start a new move without waiting till his man gets up on Sorry, his feet. And I'm sure he knows it. Just the excitement of the moment. Both men putting a tremendous amount into this. Double finger interlock. Once again here, Robinson, with his extra weight advantage, should have the advantage on this. Height advantage too. But then it seems to be holding him. Seventh. Bad evening trying to get up from that. Ray Robinson changes to one arm and goes for the whip. Ben doesn't go with it. Maybe sorry. Yes, there's the close thing, but he's waiting for it nicely. Headlock. 30 seconds to go. Side headlock, Robinson. Put him over the top, and then. Ten seconds. And it just has to break the hole there because he attacked when his man was on the deck. So that's a wasted move by Robinson there. King Ben holding up very, very well. Let's see whether he can manage it for another round. I think he'd be quite happy with a draw against Robinson, who's so much heavier and taller than he is. And of course, the most we've seen of King Ben recently is when he's a second to Kid McCoy, who's his son. He taught wrestling right from the very, very early age. He's only 16 now, Kid McCoy. Second away for the eighth and final round. Final round eight. One fall each. The score, the next one, is the one that really matters here. Ray Robinson versus King Ben. Robinson in the plain dark blue trunks. There's nothing to worry Ben there. Yes, the, the flyer again caught Robinson the side of the head somewhere, but it hurt Ben too. And both of them down. More of those forearm uppercuts by Ray Robinson. And that one counted well. And it tries to butt to the back of the neck. Oh, yes. Ben went for it, too, thinking he could get in first, but he didn't make it. The backdrop scored. So two minutes left in the bout now. 
Nice switch by Ben. Beautiful switch by Ben. And he's got Robinson in trouble here. Beautiful fall. And Robinson fuming mad with himself because he knew how he really fell for that. He was calm there, and he knows it. In one minute, 12 seconds of the final round, King Ben the winner, two falls to one. Well, ladies and gentlemen, at the end of round eight, with the deciding four coming, it of course goes to the blue corner, King Ben. And this is how Ben did it. Comes off the ropes there. See how switch, he switch, turns the double move, gets Ray Robinson on his back when Ray Robinson thought he was gonna get him on his back. And there's the perfect folding press. And that one in the bout, two one.